Hello guys, do you know the PHP function filter var? It is often used by filtering emails to check if the email is valid or not. But there are more filters available in that function and we wrote an article on laravel.com from open source projects, the examples, and I decided to read that article for you, show those examples on YouTube as well to spread the word, spread the message to YouTube audience as well. I will link that article in the description below so you may also check the links for all the examples. So typical example of filter var is this. So I've seen that so I've seen that multiple times in multiple projects, validating the email. Good. But there are that many filters available as well. So we find a lot of examples in the open source Laravel projects with filter var. The first example is the same email. It comes from Laravel CRM. And this is the example. So filtering the addresses and checking if the address is a valid email. And if it is, then we add that to the list array of emails. The second example with different filters, you may filter integers and floats. And of course, there are other ways to check integers and floats in PHP and in Laravel, but also filter var is available for that. And in the coil open source project, it checks the config bitrate for whether it's number, integer number or not, and checks the start time config, whether it's a float number or not also available in filter var. Example number three is you can validate Boolean. To be honest, I'm not actually sure how it works, whether it validates only true and false or zeros and ones. You may check a look. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly how it works, whether it filters just true or false or zeros and ones. You may check the PHP documentation for that. But here's the example from the same coil open source project, setting the values and filtering whether it is a Boolean. Another example is filter the IP address. So validation for the IP address addresses in pterodactyl panel open source project goes like this. If we have a valid IP address, then one more internal check and potential validation message and returning false. And then down below another filter with IP, filter validate IP with another set of parameters. And if it is a valid IP, then we return true here. So this is kind of a more complex validation function using under the hood, the filter var with validate IP. And another example is filter validate URL. And this comes from Twill open source project, which has validation extend so validator extend with this code. So if filter var doesn't return false, or if the URL starts with slash, which means relative URL, so it may be relative URL or secure URL, which means HTTPS. So they have their own validation rule called relative or secure URL using the filter var under the hood. And final example is filter validate domain name, which comes from pixel fed open source project. And the function is called has valid DNS. So it searches for domain name in the domain value of the variable with additional flag and then returns false if it's not valid or caches the result in other case. So yeah, these are the examples. Maybe you will add something more in the comment. And again, I will link the original article. It's free in the description below. So you don't need to have any membership. And in that article, you will find links to all those open source projects. So you may dive deeper yourself. What do you think about filter var? Do you use it often or you rely more on validation of Laravel or other PHP functions? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.